The two most common scaffolds currently used to repair or augment soft tissue defects in dogs consist of polypropylene mesh, or PM, and porcine small intestinal submucosa, or SIS. PM is synthetic and has been associated with complications such as adhesions and foreign body reactions. SIS, in contrast, is a biological scaffold and is biocompatible but biomechanically weak. Canine fascia lata, or canine FL, has emerged as an alternative that can overcome this disadvantage. Autogenous canine FL has been successfully used surgically in human patients and dogs. However, in many cases, postoperative complications have been noted at the donor site. Allogenic canine FL has recently become commercially available as a material that can avoid these complications, although there has been insufficient research on its properties. Therefore, a group of scientists based in California, USA first tested the biocompatibility of canine FL in vitro. They cultured fibroblasts on discs of FL, PM, and SIS and evaluated the constructs after 3, 7, and 14 days. They found greater water and DNA contents in the FL and SIS constructs than in the PM construct. Further, fibroblasts were spherical and distributed throughout the FL, but were stellate and remained at the surface of the SIS and PM scaffolds. The attachment and proliferation of cells throughout the FL are signs of its biocompatibility. To confirm these properties in animals, the scientists reviewed medical records of six dogs with surgical conditions treated with implantation of allogenic fascia lata. None of the dogs had developed incisional complications, and based on questionnaires completed by their owners, the long-term outcomes were promising. The findings of this study thus provide evidence to support the use of allogenic canine fasciolata as an alternative to SIS in dogs.